so we need to talk. You may have noticed I'm driving the green van and it runs perfectly fine. All right, we're out here at the storage unit now and I'm smashing into the wall. Oh, wait a second. Where did it go? Here we go. Today's trivia. Who was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean? Oh, that's lame. Millie Earhart. String cheese trivia. Okay, it's story time. What a perfect background with all this stuff in here. You may have noticed that I'm driving the green van. It actually runs fine. I'm gonna back up here a little bit and explain everything that happened. It was running kind of weird and I couldn't figure out what the deal was. When I hit a bump, sometimes it would be running good, sometimes bad. It turns out there was a hose that was rubbing on the side of the engine compartment and it got a leak in the hose. That hose was for the vacuum. Engines have to have vacuum to run properly. And since it was rubbing up against something, occasionally you hit a bump and that hose would move and let air in, blah, 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 whatever. Found the hose, fixed it. Thing was running better than it had in a long time. Now that it's running good, it's putting out more power, which puts more load on the cooling system. But the hoses were not very good. So more power, engines getting warmer, working the cooling system harder. The hoses, they weren't original, but they were old. So basically blew out several of the hoses so it was leaking coolant. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, that's when we changed the thermostat and it was kind of acting like around that time the head gasket was having a problem. So got all the hoses fixed and everything. So we fixed all the hoses. I thought maybe the water pump was bad. Turned out it was fine. Got that all fixed. The thing just wouldn't run right. It was running like there was water getting in to the engine, which is always head gasket. That's when I was like, okay, we'll pull the other van out of mothballs and drive it. I'll have to pull this thing apart and change the head gaskets at some point. I went into the garage the other night and there was this guy walking away from my van with an empty water bottle. He looked over at me and had this really strange look on his face and scuttled away. My gas flap was slightly askew and the side of my van was all wet. That particular guy is one that I had an issue with in the past. Him and his wife drive super fast in the garage and have almost hit me on more than one occasion when I'm in my wheelchair. And I said something to him about it and they're like, oh, don't worry about it. We've got our headlights on, we're paying attention. You know, 10 or 12 miles an hour is fine. Speed limit's five in there. Kind of had an issue with them. I put a sticker on their window, one of those generic ones you get online that says, hey, speed limit's five miles an hour. Stick it around on the glass on the driver's door. Well, they found out it was me and flipped out. Wow. That's why it's dangerous. And you're defacing property by putting stickers on people's cars? They were like, oh, you're defacing our property and this and that. We're going to talk to the office and call the cops and all this. And I'm like, go ahead, call the cops. Bring them out here. I would be happy to talk to them. They have this sticker on their back window that says police lives matter. These people are the furthest thing from police that I can think of. Anyways, things kind of escalated over the next week or so. And anytime they saw me in the garage, they would just honk their horn just all the way through the garage. It was that guy that was walking away from my van with the empty water bottle. And I was like, oh, now I know what's going on. I went and borrowed a boroscope from a friend. It's a camera that's smaller than your little finger on the end of a long stick. Jammed it down to the tank. There's a bunch of water in there. When you start getting water in there, it causes lots of problems. Poured in a bunch of that additive that dries up the water. It's kind of like jet fuel, basically. It blends with the water and then the, that'll blend with the gas, whatever. I pulled the spark plugs out, they were all rusty from having the water in there and fouled out. So I replaced the spark plugs, fired the thing up, went and filled it with gas with the additive. It runs fine now. So what do we do in this case? It was about 1030 at night when I saw this guy dumping water in my gas tank. It was closer to maybe midnight when I got everything figured out and found out the van was running fine. So we now have a locking gas cap installed. But unfortunately, legally, there isn't really much I can do. Once again, uh, people never fail to amaze me with their passive aggressive tendencies and lies and I mean, another group of people got the SWAT team at my door by making up a bunch of stuff. I was gonna make a whole big long video about this and whatever, but I'll just say that still, people are crazy. And it's just weird 
that they're so violently opposed to going a safe speed in the garage and taking maybe 15 extra seconds to drive up to the top where they park. And then when you say something about it, they want to retaliate. What is that? I don't understand. Uh, regardless, I mean, at least the thing runs now. I wasn't looking forward to having to tear the engine apart on this thing. And the other van had a bunch of problems, or still has a bunch of problems. So it wasn't exactly the safest thing to be driving. Anyhow, it's running great now, probably better than it ever has. Luckily, it didn't cause any permanent damage that I'm aware of. Um, yeah, there you go. Van runs fine. Good news, I, I guess. <laughs>